In love, they say, is patient. And that is exactly what I've been doing all this while. I think this is how far I can go. I love you, Bula. But I can't I can't deal with the embarrassment you rub on me all the time. I can't, I can't deal with the embarrassment you rub on me all the time. Hello. I'm done. Hello. Hello. What was all this nonsense? I'm, I've been standing here for like good, five minutes. Good. I'm very sorry. Sorry for what? Ah uh ah. -uh. Eh? Don't oh. cut me short. Sorry for what? If you want to think, go back home and think. I'm sorry, ma, ma. Sorry, what is all this? Now only you get a problem. Eh? You better stop all these acts before that catch you and other acts too. Eh? Rubbish.
looks as if you are not up there. What have I done? What have I done? I can't even freely walk in the neighborhood again. Just last week. I didn't want to broke up with me. God, and you are dead. This is the fifth job. This year alone, fifth job. And I'm even at the verge of getting sacked here. God! God! Why? Why? And I'm afraid. I prayed! I prayed! I prayed! I prayed! God! God! Why? Why was he? Why? Why? What have I done? Gloria. Wow, oh my God. Is Gloria. this you? Jesus. <laughs> wow, Femi, is this you? Ah, ah, well, this is me. God, how many years now? Well, it's been a while. Ah, ah, ah. I can't count. This is a good day. Wait, I'm sure you are now a pastor. What's that? Ah, ah. Ah, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Back then, you guys thought I was going to be a pastor. Of course, with all the anointing back then in fellowship, going up and down. Forget to oh, forget anointing. Well, yes, the anointing, but then I don't have the calling of a pastor. Oh. I am still Femi. It's so good to see you. Yeah, it's so good to see you too. Wait, what are you doing in my neighborhood? Oh, you, you stay around here. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, well, two things. Two things. One... I just parked into this neighborhood. Eh? Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. And the second thing is, I'm supervising this work. Really? Wow. Wow. That's that's. Work good. work things. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. How, 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 how have you been? You know, Gloria, you're Gloria. Gloria. Come on, it's, it's just water. I'm okay.
I, I, I can't believe this is still happening to me. Femi, it's still happening. And this is costing me a lot. And they broke up with me recently. And by a day, you mean your fiance? Yes. And we've been together for four years. Femi, four years. I don't even have a stable job. I can't work freely in the neighborhood. Nothing seems to be working out for me. And I even think God does not want to heal me. Gloria, the last time I checked, God is good. And he, he always wants to heal people. <laughs> Ah, well, maybe not in my case. Because I had prayed. I had gone to different prayer mountains. I had seen different men of God. Do you know what it takes? Do you know the feeling of going for miracle service? And others are receiving their healing but me. And you are telling me that God wants to heal me. Really? Well, I, I, I don't think so. Gloria, do you know what this is? Yes. Yeah. It seems to me that God wants to heal you in a different way. I don't understand. My people perish because they lack God is good all the time. When we ask God for healing or when you ask God for healing, it is not because God does not want to heal you. Gloria, God desires to heal you more than you want to be healed. He wants it for you. But because we do not know what God has provided for us. So it takes knowledge to know. God wants to give you something, but once you don't know that it's God's will that you have it, it cannot come into your head. With all you said, your thinking is wrong because it's not patterned after God's word. You need to know God's word. You need to be enlightened by God's word. If your thinking is wrong, your believing will be wrong and your speaking will definitely be wrong. If those three are wrong, I don't think you can get your healing. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Do you know what those benefits are? It's number one, who forgiveth all your iniquities. And guess what the second is? Who heals all, not some, all of your diseases. Mm. Can I help you further? Matthew chapter 9. Matthew 9, 35. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sicknesses. Healing how many? Every disease and sicknesses. Now can you see that God wants to heal you? He is passionate. He wants to heal you. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Gloria, do you really really want to be healed yes i want to be healed do you desire it? more than anything then it only takes some practical solutions for you to get healed and please note all of these practical solutions are in the book that you're holding the bible are you ready I'm ready.
And when the heathen was come, they brought unto him many that were demon possessed. And by his word he sent out the demons by his word and healed all them that were sick. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Who forgives all my sins and heal my iniquities? That it might be fulfilled that which was spoken by Prophet Isaiah. Sir. Himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. He healed all my diseases. He healed all my diseases. He is the one that heals my diseases. I stand upon the authority of God's word and I declare in the name of Jesus that every spirit sponsoring the epilepsy of Gloria in the name of Jesus. We bind you in the name of Jesus. As far as the heat is to the west, so has the Lord separated me from my sin. So therefore, as he has separated me from my iniquity, he is separated me from my diseases. In the name of Jesus, he is separated me from my diseases. In the name of Jesus. We bind you in the name of Jesus and we cast you out. We cast you out. Jesus has taken our infirmities. In the name of Jesus, she is healed. She is made whole. Oh, in the name of Jesus. He has separated me from my diseases. The Bible says the word of the Lord is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-headed sword. Sharper than any two-headed sword. In the name of Jesus. And Musa Tena Kandu Zakada. Men they call solo bregate. And shaga de baladi and also pegate. Raga de balaga de balagadi. In the name of Jesus, by his stripes I am healed. By his stripes I am healed. In the name of Jesus, none of your word will go back to you without being fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, I will say of the Lord, He is my Redeemer. I will say of the Lord, He is my healer. In the name of Jesus, I am delivered. In the name of Jesus, by his tribe, by his tribe, I am healed. I am healed. In the name of Jesus, I stand on the authority of the Lord. Isn't it amazing how the miracle we search for is right in the word of God? I've come to realize that faith is not all about God must do it, but it's about God is capable of doing it. Believers therefore must know that our deliverance lies in the word of God. So therefore, we must study to show ourselves approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Knowing through his word that God is capable of doing it, there lies our joy and strength to move on irrespective of our challenges. For I know the God I serve, he can do it if he chooses to do it. And if he doesn't do it, he still remains God. Therefore, I will move, I will succeed, and I will fulfill purpose, trusting Jesus fully.